Good Monday morning, South Florida morning sealed meteorologist Julie Durda. We are under a flood watch until Thursday as we're going to see rounds of rain continuing to move into South Florida from that disturbance that is ahead of Milton that we're watching that is expected to move into Florida as well by mid and late week. As for temperatures, 77 rain cooled degrees out there. Winds starting to pick up, moving in anywhere between 6 to 20 miles per hour. So heavy rain this morning, afternoon storms expected. We'll see those on and off downpours all day long. We do it all over again for your Tuesday, and then we will see a better chance of storms really going into the forecast as we go into the next couple days. We're all expected to be under this flood threat. Hurricane Milton expected to become a major hurricane by tomorrow night and into Wednesday morning before making landfall sometime Wednesday night. Now the forecast projected path does have parts of Broward County highlighted under it. Regardless, this is going to be a large storm. So even though the impacts, direct impacts will be to the north of us, we will definitely feel the outer bands of the system as we go into midweek. So for the forecast, heavy rain, gusty winds, flooding concerns today, Milton rain bands for tomorrow and Wednesday. And then I'm happy to tell you lower rain chances by the end of the week and going into the weekend is actually be really nice. Keep the rain gear handy. Be safe out there. Oh. Good morning, South Florida. Today is October 7th on a Monday. I'm Eric Yutzi. And I'm Alexis Frazier in for Alex Finney. We're going to begin this hour with the de developments in the Gulf. We are tracking Hurricane Milton, the system rapidly strengthening to a Category 2 hurricane this morning. Milton brewing in the Gulf of Mexico, taking aim at Florida's west coast. Here's what we know about this storm. Governor Ron DeSantis declaring states of emergency for 51 of Florida's 67 counties, including Broward, Miami-Dade, and Monroe. Milton could make landfall potentially as a Category 3 storm by the middle of the week, mainly along Florida's west coast. And we have live team coverage from Tampa to Miami. Local 10 Samir Nefsi reports from the potential storm zone in Tampa. We have Joseph Ojo and Hany Ashivi. They're in flood zones across South Florida. But let's begin with your Weather Authority meteorologist for the Julie Durda with the very latest on the advisories for our forecast here in South Florida. So much ground to cover, Julie. There is so much going on, Eric. Alexis in South Florida. And I want you to know we're already been dealing with the bands from a completely opposite element in the atmosphere an air of low pressure installed out front that has brought us rounds of rain since the weekend. So we are under a flood watch because we're anticipating more rain as Milton makes its way closer to the west coast of Florida. So with that flood watch in effect, Broward and Miami-Dade, I wouldn't be surprised to start to see these flood advisories popping up as we've been seeing rain for at least the last six hours over parts of Broward County. Right now, the rainfall is moving in towards portions of Boca, Deerfield Beach, the Sawgrass Expressway, soaked Coral Springs, Pompano Beach, and towards North Lauderdale, all the way down towards Fort Lauderdale. We're still dealing with the shield of storms over 595 right over the turnpike Hollywood, Hallandale, Aventura, Pembroke Pines, in towards Miramar, into Miami Gardens. And then as we go south, we still have a little bit of activity right over Isla Mirada, some downpours there that's going to head towards Key Largo. Widening the view, again, this is all stemming from a completely different disturbance than Milton. So this will be our first round of some soaking showers and storms today and tomorrow. And then all eyes on Milton. This storm is very large and strengthened overnight. Winds of 100 miles per hour as it's moving east southeast at 8 miles per hour pressure 972 millibars it's located 750 miles west southwest of tampa florida and the forecast projected path continues to bring the system to strengthen as we go into tomorrow and wednesday before making landfall somewhere near tampa cedar key south of cedar key north of Fort Myers. Now, the newest advisory has brought us with new watches and warnings. We have a tropical storm watch in effect for the upper middle and the lower keys all the way to Fort Myers coastline and then turning into a hurricane watch Fort Myers, Tampa, Cedar Key as the system will be making its way towards that area. Now we are going to watch it for the downpours. We're going to have to deal with the system because even though we may not be under that forecast projected cone anymore, that doesn't mean we're not going to feel the effects of this system. It was just like Helene. We dealt with the outer impacts of the system and that's what's going to happen to us too. And a lot could change in the next 24 to 48 hours. If the system stays on the northern fringe of this forecast cone, the gusty outer band should stay north of us. We'll have less impacts, but if it takes a shift ever so subtle to the south, we will actually have more impacts here in South Florida. Besides this, the rain, we could have to deal with tropical storm force winds and even maybe hurricane force winds. So it just depends on the path of the system. The one thing that we take home as the message is all about the flooding. As for temperatures, we've got 70s rain cooled degrees. I'll have a lot more on your back to work and back to school forecast coming up.